Welcome to Anatomy with Ashley. I will be doing a quick model review of the heart today. So let's get started. Here we'll start with the right auricle. This is the left auricle. You've got the pulmonary trunk, the pulmonary arteries, and the pulmonary veins here. The ascending aorta, this is the aortic arch, and then descending here. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, and left subclavian artery. Here you have the brachiocephalic veins, and here the superior vena cava. This will be the right coronary artery. This is a piece of the left coronary artery, which will come down into the anterior interventricular artery. You've got the circumflex artery coming here. This is the great cardiac vein here. Let's do this a little bit. We've got the posterior cardiac vein here, the left marginal artery. This is the coronary sinus here. And you have the middle cardiac vein here and the posterior interventricular artery here. Move it again. This will also be the inferior vena cava. You have the right marginal artery and the small cardiac vein here. And then we are back at the front of the heart. Okay, so I pulled the top off and this will allow us to see the actual right atrium. This is the right ventricle and it's a V shape, so that's a good way to remember the ventricles. Uh, this is the left ventricle. You've got the pulmonary valve here, which you also have an aortic valve here. This is the interventricular septum. These little guys here are the papillary muscles, which hold these cords here, these streams, which are the chordae tendinae. This is the tricuspid valve. You have a bicuspid valve here, chordae tendinae, and papillary muscle also. The innermost layers here is the um, endocardium, which has this um, trabeculae carne is the, what is this inside portion called, okay? This is the myocardium here, this muscle, more red layer, and then the pericardium or epicardium is um, the outermost. All right, so um, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching.